Okay, in this topic, it's 13.2, writing solutions to 3x3 three three systems of linear equations from augmented matrices. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to write these back into their equation forms. So this, remember this is x, this is y, and because it's a 3x3, three three, now we have the variable z. Of course, this is the equal sign, and then the constants on the right-hand side. So this becomes 1x, a positive 6y, no z's equal to 1. This equation becomes no x's, no y's, but a single z equal to 6. This is nothing. You have basically nothing on the left-hand side and then nothing on the right-hand side. Okay. When this happens, when this happens here, 0 equals 0, this automatically means you have infinitely many solutions. Okay, and then it's a matter of selecting one of these three. So you either have this as an answer, this as an answer, or this as an answer. Since I ended up with this third one, I have to select one of these. Okay, now because I do have a value for Z, I am not going to select this option. Okay, so I'm either going to select the top option or the second option. And I'm going to fill in a six in the place where Z belongs. Now it's a matter of what do I put? Do I, what do I put for X and what do I put for Y? That's gonna tell me which one of these two I'm gonna choose, okay? What you do is you go to the other equation and you decide which letter you want to solve for, okay? So here, I think it's easier to solve for X because it doesn't have a coefficient in front and it's positive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 6y on both sides of this equation, and I end up with the equation x equals to 1 minus 6y. So now I have an expression for x. My expression for x is going to be 1 minus 6y. It's y that I know nothing about right now, okay? So I know that x is equal to this expression once you give me a y value, and I know that z equals 6. What I don't know is what y is. y is what they call the arbitrary variable, okay, or the arbitrary value. It doesn't matter what y is. Once you pick a y, you'll be able to figure out what the x is, and then you'll have the complete solution here, okay? But remember, you can pick anything as y, which is why there's an infinite many solutions. So there are an infinitely many solutions here, but they'll all fit this pattern. So which variable do I have that's all by itself? This is the variable that I have all by itself. So then I'll be selecting this option here for part A, okay? And I, for X, I would plug in one on my six Y, and then for Z, I would be plugging in six. Now let's go look at another example, okay? So here we have, um, let me use a different color. We have 1x, no y's, no z's, equal to 6. Here we have no x's, 1y, no z's, equal to negative 2. Here we have no x's, no y's, and 1z, equal to 4. Okay? So then that means I'm to select the option that says unique solution and then I'm gonna type it in 6 for X negative 2 for Y and 4 for Z it does have to be in that order the X value first the Y value in the middle and then the Z value last now the last one um, we'll do this one in its equation form so you have 1x no Y's no Z's equal to 3 you have um, no x's, 1y, no z's equal to 1. And then here you have no x's, no y's, and no z's, so nothing on the left-hand side. But then you have 2 on the right-hand side. Now, unfortunately, 0 does not equal 2, which means that this one has no solution. When you get a contradiction like this, 0 does not equal 2. So that's called a contradiction. It's something that you know is a false statement. And in that case, when you get a false statement, you say that the answer is no solution. 
So we've had an example of each of the different types of solutions you'll get and what you need to type in as the answers for at least these two. When you have no solution, you don't have anything to type in as your answer because there is no answer, right? Um, so now we've got an example of each one.